Meanwhile, many Democrats continue to call on President Joe Biden to drop out of the race for the White House. But if he does, will the Democrats choose their nominee? CBS News Detroit's Terrell Bailey asked a constitutional lawyer. Questions about the president's ability to lead the Democratic Party in this year's presidential race continue. If Biden were to drop out of the race, it creates a new push for a candidate. Without Joe Biden in place, then it is the choice of the delegates who to nominate. There's roughly 4,000 Democratic delegates representing the country. In August, they'll vote to determine the nominee. Right now, it's expected to be President Biden. If he were to step out, it becomes open season. There could still be a, a fairly large number of candidates who are either nominated or pursuing the nomination. Vice President Kamala Harris wouldn't immediately get the votes. With the president's support, I'm told it could sway delegates. But if she isn't chosen as the nominee, it could prove tricky. Black voters will be very you know, upset about that. Women would be upset about that. Uh, and I just think that that would be, like I said, I don't know what choice they have now at this point. Wayne Bradley, a GOP consultant, tells me he believes Democrats should have had an open primary. As news comes of decreased donor support, he says it's troublesome as campaigns rely on funding. You start talking about taking away the money. It's, to me, the grassroots really has not moved away from them, but the donor class definitely has. As the convention approaches, conversations swirl on whether or not the Biden campaign will continue. Though it's the talk of the political world, experts say the party more than likely is weighing its options. Franklin Roosevelt, Harry Truman would look at the way we're nominating candidates and say, OK, I have no idea what you're doing. So um, it's it's unprecedented in modern time, but we have been in this kind of situation before. A Biden campaign leader recently said the president remains steady and staying in the race and their campaign is strategizing on ways to win with him. Meantime, though, the Democratic National Convention starts August the 19th in Chicago. In Wayne County, Terrell Bailey, CBS News, Detroit.